Those are my house keys. Today, we're answering your questions and sharing an update on a recent event that confirmed our faith in Madeira. So stay tuned to the end of the video. Welcome back to Track Us Talent. If you're just joining us, I'm Doug. And I'm Monique. Our channel is all about retiring early, moving abroad, and living a better second half of life. So do you remember this? It's two in the morning and we're sitting in the police station because my purse was stolen from Carnival. We have an awesome update, so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what. It's that time again for another Q&A session with us here at Track Us Down with Monique and Doug. You guys ask a lot of questions in the comments and on Patreon. So today we've collected our most asked questions since the last time and answer them as best we can. The first question is about housing. As you know, we've done several videos showcasing different apartments, different houses and different pre-builds. And so we get a lot of questions about the housing market. One person was asking about scarcity in housing. They're hearing a lot that there's not a lot available. We'll get into that answer, but they're asking about, you know, with a timeline of not are coming to Madeira right now of looking at perhaps next year, what would that be like for them? And did we have any advice about that? And we do because we've been through it. Our biggest fear when we were finishing our rental process and looking to buy here was that we were going to be priced out of the market. Being on a limited budget, we had a set amount that we could spend and we could see that the prices were going up fast. So it is true year after year, the prices are going up and continue to go up. I know a lot of people are hoping that the prices drop here on Madeira. So far, that's not the case, but who knows what the summer will bring. But we've been asked as far as next year into 2024, some people have the same concerns. Are the prices gonna to continue to go up and are they gonna be priced out of the market? And what is their best course of action if that happens? We would always recommend when you first arrive to rent so that you get a really good idea of the housing market. If you do choose to come on a scouting trip and buy, before actually moving here, that's always an option as well. We did showcase some pre-builds and I don't think you can discount the idea of buying a pre-build if your timeline permits. When we say that there's not a lot available, sometimes in certain price ranges, it gets a little trickier. And if you have your heart set on a particular area, that gets a little trickier as well. But things are always coming on the market, being sold, and there's a, it's cyclical just like anywhere else. Going back to what Doug said, people always have ideas about what's gonna happen next in the market, whether it goes up, whether it goes down, whether it flatlines, no one really knows. So you stick with your timeline, it's what works for you and go with that. We think that pre-builds are a really good idea because you can lock in your price now. Even if it's not ready for a year, a year and a half, two years, you're buying at today's prices. It gives time for the building to be finished, for your pre-build to be finished, but you've paid in 2023 prices when it's ready in 2025. And it will be a lot more in 2025 for sure. Our next question is, what is winter like on Madeira? Are you asking that one or am I asking that? What is winter like on Madeira? Our experience over the last year and a half, we've had two winters here in that time period, and we can say it's a lot better than it is in North America. We've been watching the news over the last winter and watching all the storms in California, blizzards in California, tornadoes, Canada, US, all over North America, and we don't have any of that. Sure, it might rain here once in a while and get a bit cloudy, but overall, the weather is fantastic. It's definitely mild, but it does rain a lot. I was actually surprised at how much it rained this winter. If you are someone who finds that gloomy sometimes, there was a couple gloomy days. I think we actually filmed on a gloomy day one time when it was pouring. So definitely some rain, some cloud, and the microclimate thing in Madeira is, it's for real. Like when you drive around, you can be sunny one place, even in the winter time and then drive somewhere else and it's actually quite chilly. To say that it's microclimates is an understatement. It can be rainy up here where we live, but we look down and it's completely sunny in the bowl of Funchal. The locals have said that this has been a particularly rainy winter. I don't think they normally get that much rain. Weather patterns change all over the world all the time. But overall, we cannot complain compared to what we've experienced in the past. You've seen our video of how cold it is when we head back to Canada in December. Nothing like that, it's mild. Another question someone asked is, what are some of the unexpected benefits of moving abroad? Mm -hmm. I would say one of the surprising benefits that we didn't anticipate was feeling kind of braver. Just feeling like we we're willing to take a chance more. We did something big and you kind of feel a little empowered when you do that and willing to take a chance. 
more of a not really caring attitude or, or caring about what's important. I think it just a focus on what's important really becomes clear when you move abroad. Some of the other benefits that I feel are just further to that are freedom. The freedom just to kind of reinvent ourselves, to be ourselves, to do things that we never had a chance to do in our first half of life where we're busy working hard and raising a family, to live more of a European lifestyle, enjoy finer food, finer clothing, finer experiences just on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think that's been a huge benefit of moving abroad. Freedom from the bump and grime of North American society, of the crime, of the weather, of the politics is just completely different here and it's just refreshing. And that was kind of surprising for us because that wasn't the main reason we thought of moving abroad. It was an unexpected but surprising and happy benefit. We'll take it. The next question is one of my favorite topics, shopping. Someone was asking about online shopping. They'd heard that people on Madeira often order from Amazon Spain or Amazon Germany. And they were wondering if that gets delivered right to your residency or if you have to go somewhere to pick it up. True. We haven't heard too many great things about Amazon Germany as far as delivering here to Madeira. I think maybe it takes longer or maybe there's some taxes. We order from Amazon Spain. We're actually quite often surprised by how fast things get here. Sometimes it'll say it's gonna take two weeks and it's here in three days. So Amazon has been a nice surprise. We order from there all the time, still trying to keep our minimalist lifestyle. And on that note, please check out our Amazon links below. We have everything we use for filming as well as dog things and travel gear. Take a look. But as far as ordering from anywhere else, you can order from Ikea, you can order from the electronic stores such as Wharton's or Fanac. You can order from Zara, Mango, all the good places. We just ordered a new bed. We ordered it from Emma, which is a European brand. Not only did they deliver it within two weeks, a big king size bed with storage underneath, but the people that deliver it set it up perfectly for us, all included. So that was a great thing here. We didn't feel that we were excluded being on an island. Another question that someone asked was, do we watch any TV stations from back home? from back in North America. What platforms do we use? Do we use a VPN? And what has been our experience with that? Our Mio package has 200 channels. We obviously don't watch 200 channels, but there are familiar channels in there like CNN, the BBC, Fox Movies, Fox Comedy. So there is a lot to choose from. There's American comedies, American movies. And so we do watch that from time to time. We also still do have Netflix. Once in a while on Netflix, we do find a series that we like. It's happening less and less. We have Prime that comes with our Amazon subscription. I don't know, I haven't had too much luck finding anything on there that we watch. We don't watch a lot of the TV. Sometimes our sons will recommend something to us and we'll watch that. We actually watch YouTube, if anything. Everybody has their channels that they've been watching for a while. Track us down. And we still have ones that we watched about things like overlanding or finance. And Monique watches ones on fashion or Korean silent cooking. Love Korean silent cooking. Once in a while, we have ourselves some free time, which we're actually pretty busy here in retirement. We like to relax in the evening and find something to watch. As far as the VPN, if there's something that we want to watch and we need a VPN to only access it from North America, we do use that, but that could be anything. That could be for newspapers from back in North America. That could be for Netflix. That could be for online banking. If you just want to make it seem like you're back in North America to get around all the extra security features, you can use your VPN and have your computer and whatever you're trying to access, believe that you're back there. Sometimes it just makes it a little bit easier. So yes, we do use a VPN in that sense. Our last question was about translating documents and having documents notarized for the D7 visa. They were asking about what we had translated into Portuguese, when we did that, who did that, and what was notarized before we came. We dealt specifically with the consulate and they decided what things needed to be translated, if anything. For the most part, things were just notarized where they embossed them and put a little sticker on them and assigned them and kind of validated under the Portuguese government system back in North America. I don't know there was a whole lot that was actually fully translated. Maybe our driver's abstract, but it's your consulate or whatever agency you're going through that will decide what needs to be translated. The main thing is if you can get it notarized or apostolized through the consulate or through the Portuguese system, that goes a long ways here on Madeira. Now the big news. I'm sure you remember the drama that we had at Carnival where Monique's purse was stolen, including her car keys and all of her ID. We've been busy at work replacing her driver's license, replacing her residency card. We just bought a new key for our car and we've been checking with the police station. We went in about a week after the event and there was no luck. And then we went back again this week. Surprise! 
So we are here at the police station. We thought we'd take a chance to see if my purse turned up. And voila, the wallet's gone. But the car key for our car is there and our house keys are there. So we're super happy about that. Purse is in perfect condition. Gotta love Kate Spade. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And what about a wallet? No. <laughs> That's okay. Kate Spade's returned. We were so glad that we went in again. We had heard that they had found someone from one of our subscribers at the airport that had stolen things from Carnival was trying to leave the island. So we thought on the off chance we'd go back and see if there was anything there. It was actually found on the beach. Someone was kind enough in Madeira to find my purse and return it to the police and I'm super happy to have it back. So thank you Madeira. So that's what's been going on around here. Those are some updates to some questions that we've been asked if you'd like to ask us some specific questions about your potential move to Madeira, please check us out on Patreon where you can spend more time individually and answer your questions one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's online or here in person. Thanks for spending some of your day with us. And as always, check back in and track us down.